All right, this is the Moo Perpetual Planner. I actually strongly dislike this type of packaging. I mean, I guess it's efficient. I just don't, I'd rather just have a regular bubble mailer. I don't know. It just seems like you're trying to make a sort of soft patch pouch kind of thing out of cardboard. Um, so yeah, but I do like this packaging. It makes it seem like it's protected. It's nice and sturdy. So this is the Moo Perpetual Planner. And the only reason I'm showing you this is because these are something you can buy as a wholesaler and then resell as your own. Um, so this is cute. I imagine this is how it would, everything, how it would come. Um, to you or if you yeah I don't think they do any um, drop shipping so you'd have to order these in bulk store them yourself and then send them back out so uh, safety matters keep this away okay great <laughs> so that uh, wasn't really useful here we go all right, so we have the Moo Perpetual Planner. Now, it came in a few different colors. I got the gray just because it was neutral and it seemed like it would match everything else. It feels really soft, uh, even though it's just a like a cloth overlay. And Moo does that uh, weird thing where they don't attach the spine so that then it can lay flat. So if you're not a fan of that, um, which I could totally understand, this might not be the wholesale product for you to resell. All right, so in here, um, it does come with this little bonus sort of bookmark and you could have had this in gold or silver. Those that plan do. And you can see it has the week starting on a Monday. And in here, it's one of those perpetual things where um, this is the dates and then you kind of move it over depending on when the first day of the week happens to fall on. Um, so that's your calendar clip. Uh, the tricky first page, this is the perpetual planner, 128 pages of Finch opaque, bright white, smooth, 70 pound text, 104 GSM, 24 pages of color plan paper. So we have over here the faintest of uh, ink. So if you like it where it's very minimal, this is definitely the planner for you. So I do like the dot grids. We have just Monday through Friday and then Saturday, Sunday, double stacked over here. And then you have your year at a glance. And remember this is, so if we were going to go into December, December starts on a Thursday. So what I do is I would go ahead and stack this up here so that, oh, whoops, I guess it's the other way around. I'd stack this there, there we go. So the first ends up falling right here on Thursday. So then we can see, I don't know if you can see that, I'm gonna bring it up really close, um, that all the days of the week are kind of in there. You can see it kind of runs out of space here at the bottom. Um, so that's a little tough, uh, but you know, that's kind of what you get for having a perpetual planner. Wow, I was really stuck in there. Okay, so this is, I believe, just rinse and repeat. And yeah, every day is exactly the same. We have some green pages here in the middle, which are simply a thicker cardstock kind of page um, with some more dot grids. And then we go right back to that undated. And then, oh, we have line pages. So that's different. And then over here, we have graph paper, which is like a uh, diamond triangle kind of graph paper. And that's pretty much it. So these are the perpetual planners. So there's no dates in them. Uh, very minimalist design. And you know, for people who like to decorate and draw on their own, this could be great. I actually am not a fan of this. Um, it didn't work how I thought it would. And honestly, it's just, it's just too uh, short for the number of pages that are in here. So it needs, it definitely needs, um, I guess that's not so bad, uh, but there needs to be a little bit more space and I just don't like how that lays. So uh, that could just be personal preference. Um, and that's a wrap.